Hello everybody, it's Current Cartoon TV coming to you with another review. This time we're actually reviewing episode 2 of The Owl House, which is before wizards. The synapse of this episode is a ancient wizard gives Luz a map to a mystical quest. So let's go ahead and dive into my likes of this episode. My first like is actually this is the first episode that actually plays the theme song and actually has a title card to it. I also like how Luz actually dresses up for her first day of wit apprenticeship, which is a actually a old bathrobe and a dirty traffic cone. Kind of cute seeing that, and how she actually dresses up like actually a typical witch would. But this is the Boy and Isles. There is no typical witch. So, and we get to see actually more monsters that live on the Boy Isles. That was pretty cool to see some of the uh, actual creatures that float around and all that. And then we actually get to see Luz that should go on to a magical quest after being handed a map by the, the wizard Adagas. And I'd kind of like the quest that she goes on. It's more of your stereotypical quest where the first village she actually uh, goes to, she finds a warrior that meets her with a sad backstory. And then we get to see a troll slash goblin protecting a bridge with a riddle. Ah! Ew. To pass the bridge, you must first solve my riddle. And a fairy princess that actually offers her food and all that after she apparently saves them. Which we don't get to see that actually, but we can make the guess. Which kind of feels something is going wrong actually when you actually take into account that all these things are something that you find in a fairy tale or something like that. Which we found out that was actually a trap set for Ida by the so called wizard. Adagas, which is actually a puppeteer monster. And then we get to see that actually Ida comes to the rescue, showing that she actually cares for uh, Luz. And then we get to see more of the Boyle Isles from a different point of view, actually, at the near the end of the episode, where Ida takes her up on her uh, owl staff and shows her the actual Boyle Isles from the sky. So... That's pretty much all I liked about this episode. So then let's go ahead and go into my dislikes. I really did not like how Ida and King actually made fun of Luz for thinking that she was a chosen one or there was a purpose for her being on the Boyle Isles. Never trust a man in casual drapery. Why? Your wizard client told Luz she was a... <laughs> Was a chosen one! <laughs> wait, wait, Luke? <laughs> Finding out that she may be the only human on the Boyle Isles. And then the fact that I didn't really like this episode was that it was not as lackluster as the very first episode. So this kind of fell slow, I guess you could say, but. It was still a good episode, so let's go ahead and go into my ratings here. And my ratings actually is that this is going to be a 2 out of 5. Compared to the very first episode, this one really falls short. But a little trivia here that is that the sword that Luz carries around on her quest really resembles the sword from He-Man, the master of the universe. Which was kind of like nice nod back to a mystical world. And then we get to see Neverite, which is the warrior that Luz meets in the first village. The fact that he asks the question, can love bloom on a battlefield? Lady Luz, do you think love can bloom on the battlefield? It actually refers to a line that was actually said in Metal Gear Solid. What are you trying to say? Do you think love can bloom even on a battlefield? The video game which i thought that was pretty cool i actually had to do some research on that one and thank you guys for listening to my review of the owl house episode number two which is before wizards so if you guys like that please make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications and if you like this video or you have your own comments you want to say about this episode put those down in below and make sure you hit that like button also make sure you get checked in our description for our links to our facebook Twitter, and also our Patreon page, and also our website at www.currentcartoontv.com. Thank you guys once again. Good night.